Edward the Blue Engine was counting his lucky stars. In May of 1941, as the war in the air steadily moved away from Sodor, an accident happened at the Big Harbor. A small ship carrying explosives suffered a catastrophic explosion. Edward, who had been nearby, had been beaten up and scraped around the edges, but mainly was okay. The fat director sent him to the works for a checkup. When he emerged a week later, he was back in blue paint. Several engines were upset by this, but none more so than James. He complained endlessly about it. Why does he get his paint back but we're all stuck black? It's not fair! He whined to Percy for the umpteenth time. I don't know, James, but it isn't really up to us. It's the Fed Director's decision, and if he thinks that we can be blue, then let him be blue. Well pushed, Percy. Thank you. Oh, oh yes, sir. You're, you're welcome, sir. It's not fair, sir. Why are we all stuck being black when Edward gets to be repainted back to blue? James, why do I always have problems with you and attitude? Give it up and you will never see your red coat ever again. That shut James up right away. The fat director sighed. The real reason you two, Henry, Gordon, and Thomas are still black is because of the war department. The war department, sir? Yes, Percy, the war department. They have asked that all railway operating division registered engines to be kept black until the war comes to its bloody conclusion. The railway operating division registered, sir? Yes, James. It means that you five are registered for, if needed, to be sent abroad to Africa, France, the Far East, Russia, or wherever it needs engines until the war is done. I have been assured that since our railway is one of the smallest in the British network, that you gentlemen will only be sent if every other ev engine available is spent. Edward gets to be painted back to blue because he is not ROG registered. He doesn't meet the requirements. Now does that settle this issue? Yes, sir, James said sheepishly as he pulled out of the station. Suddenly, he had a lot more to be grateful for since he wasn't one of the first engines to be sent to that terrible register.